All right, this is Wiggs. And this is your boy, Jay Wap. And this is Well Connected, Arizona. I'm Wiggs, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I've been singing songwriting for about like two years now. I've been recording at Sullivan Hardy Productions for about a year, so I really help improve my music and take me to that level of understanding where I can actually do something with my music. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. I've been doing music for, give or take, three years. Um, should I started? I guess you could say I started because uh, I was a rapper in my head before I was a musician. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm so serious. Like you know, I'd be going from school or anywhere, and I'm listening to anybody's stuff, and I got my own visual going on. In my head, you know what I mean? Like it's my song at that point. So you know, I guess I just started trying to do it myself. And there you go. <laughs> I'm already cozy. Like I've been playing that my life. So like I came up with different like ways. Like where is God? And then like oh, ways, I have no idea. Like, ways stands for like their presence too. Like uh, ways. Like everyone you see all the fucking dollars, billion dollars, and ways. You know their face by who they are. Like, type thing. The J just comes from. It's just an abbreviation of my name. But the WAP part, do WAP, that thing by Lauren Hill, that. That song, again, songs play a big part in everything that I do. It was on this, this CD my mom used to listen to all the time when she used to take me to school. And, and I swear, she used to play that damn song all the time, all the time. And I wrote my first rap to that beat. That do I? Yeah, you know, so it was like, that's just something I always held like close to me. So that's where that comes in. JY do I. First time I seen my cousin come home with the violin, he's like playing it. He's so bad. It's like, it's just like, <laughs> the fact, I was like, wow, I can actually like play this little instrument and make, make cool songs. And like, it started from there when I was like seven years old. And by the time I was 11, I learned like every instrument that my school had. And then I went into high school in marching band. I played violin still. But like, I, I became good friends with my manager. And like, we would sit in the manager's office after work and just like freestyle the beats. And like, it started from there. And we're like, why would we actually like make a song or write something for me? Just like, so, yeah, like the only bad thing is was that we, we didn't have anybody like good to record with. You know? That's when I met John. And that's when he met John. And that's when we started making real music. It was written by Nas. That CD, and I had just got a CD player. And it was the only CD that I had. Yeah, man, I used to listen to that. I listened to that same CD for like a solid. Six, you probably still know seven. every word. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's like it's, it's like programmed in my head at this point. That's dope. That's dope. But <clears throat> like I was saying before, I was always a rapper in my head, you know, and that never that never changed up until when I got to college, when I was going to U of A, same same difference. You know, I'm walking from class to class and it's all going on in my head. But at that point I guess you could say I just I finally had enough confidence to start trying it but then I was I didn't have the solid place to go and record that I like you know what I mean from what they were trying to charge people to they didn't understand hip-hop really or they just had the equipment and didn't know what they were doing and then maybe about a year down the line I met John and you know started bouncing ideas off each other and stuff like that and he got me better at certain things Easily, um, my top two in no particular order for these two would easily be uh, my guy Doby Doe and PK the Poet. And you guys know who both of those both of those dudes are. I don't. I'm one of those people that I, I want to change my mind later. So let me just be sure about this third person. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go with Lamar. I'm gonna go. I had a little different, like, how I seen it was like, who do I really like actually start listening to in Arizona? Like, first was like Futuristic, like, he stuck out. But, like, him and Daylight Prime, I really started listening to. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, as soon as I started hearing them, like, and I seen that they, they recorded at Sullivan too, and that's why, that's why I started going there, and I was just like, I got her I mean, Futuristic is but I mean, Daylight Prime. Yeah. But that's why I wear a shirt, like, everyone goes through, like, I had to. Yeah, man, shout out John one more time, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> get the back. I feel like the local music scene in Arizona is like, it's like a whole bunch of different like cliques, and everyone in those cliques are like tight and like they fuck with each other, but like no one ever wants to go outside their own boundaries. And, like, I, I wish I could collab with other like engineers and see like see what they got and like, see what they can offer. I know, I know, I will, and I will, I will. But, yeah. <laughs> you think that would help the scene yeah. if you were to do that? If yeah, definitely. Especially your comfort zone. A lot of it is too people are, like scared to like show what they got, and like they don't want they don't want a lot of people like 
Cause like when I go into like a studio or wherever I go, I like I try to take in what I can, you know, like pass it on. Yeah, but I don't even feel like that's like a, a personal thing really. Like so with, with stuff like that, you know, you can't really be too mad at, you know, because aside from the music over time, just like you're saying, you know, you develop a certain relationship with those people, you know, from business to a personal level again. So you can kind of expect to be treated a little different, you know, as a stranger. So, I mean, I can't be too mad about that aspect, but me and him, we talk about it all the time. Like there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of potential out here. Like there's, if anything, no one can say that there aren't talented artists out here because we got plenty of that. That's not the issue at all. You know, it's just <clears throat> marketing and talking and yeah. Yeah. And able yeah. to have real conversations with people. Right. People, like, you know, real. sometimes, you know, people, and we, we all do it sometimes, you know, get caught up in our own image and trying to push that a little bit. We kind of forget the, the bigger picture in terms of, you know, you dish a little here, you dish a little there, you know, there's a bigger return for everybody in the end, you yeah. know, so it's just a matter, it's only a matter of time before everybody gets, gets that same mindset and things start picking up. It already has, like, since I started a couple yeah. years ago, I noticed, like, a huge change in just the last couple months. Yeah, we, so in 2018, we got a little, little duo coming up. Little yeah. Six track EP. Six. Incarnate. We don't got a name for it yet, but... We're gonna have a name soon. Right. right. Real soon. It's you know. like we're gonna make a name after we like we get it all put together and like I feel like you can't have a name without knowing what it's about, you know, like you know, that's what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> um You're gonna be able to find it everywhere. Like we're the plan is we're gonna get it like copyrighted per se, whatever we we're gonna do. And we just put it on every platform that we can. That's that's what I was talking about Yams, yeah, like I don't own the beat, like like I want to come out. Oh, with, I, I want when I come out. I want to be able to put every, my song everywhere. Like I don't be like, oh, here's a song on SoundCloud. And there's like ten songs on there. Like no, no disrespect. Like the way I see it, like I just want to make the best moves I can. I feel like starting off right is yeah. This this project, this is gonna, this is going, this is gonna do great things for it's like the, us for sure. And I'm going off for the race. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gonna do great things for us. And hopefully, you know, if we get that lucky strike, hopefully it can do. Thanks for the stay. Right. Spelled out Wigs, W I G S F O R P R E Z. Um, Instagram, J Wop. J dot Wop. J J J A Y dot W O P. Please yeah. don't forget the dot. Everybody knows where it's Then they can never find me. Um, yeah. Same thing on Twitter. You can either put that or as sort of a rapper. We we're, were both on the basketball team and like we. We used to like, he's like the last person we expected, you know what I mean, to like, not like start rapping, but to be good at it. Like we used to call this, <laughs> like, we used to call this cat the weatherman. Oh, like, no. like, 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 like he was like this, you know, the most like, you know, typical. stand up, you know, typical, uh, but... quirky, it's just straight up right, dude right. that you would ever, you would not him. come on that. Right. No, we roasted everybody. Everybody, that was nobody what we got did. Nobody <laughs> Rapping is not what I see for, you know what I'm saying, for this dude, but. I was a violinist, imagine. <laughs> Coming from a violin to fucking rapping bars. It's like, it's, it's way different.